Hello and welcome to another video in Golang tutorial for beginners and in today's video I'll be showing you how to create a simple HTTP server in Golang. So my name is Gunesh Shanbhag. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in VS Code. So first of all, we'll import the package. Uh, we'll give the package name first. So it's package main and then we'll import some packages we'll use parentheses to import more than one package so we'll import first fmt we don't need a comma here second package we'll need is since we are working with the networking capabilities of golang we'll import net package and from that we have one more sub package of net that is http so net forward slash http so we'll use HTTP package for dealing with the, the different functions which it provides for the web server capabilities. So let's go ahead and create a func main. So this is our main function, the starting point of our Golang program. So inside here, what we'll do is we'll call one function from HTTP package. So HTTP, HTTP provides many different uh, functions because it's an API. So we'll call HTTP then dot and here you can type handle. So here you can see handle func is there. So this function will allow us to give routes. For example, we want to give a route suppose forward slash. So forward slash means um, a root directory. For example, if you go on uh, google.com. So google.com's root directory will be this forward slash. So we are working with the local host. So ours will be local host, then a port name, then the forward slash. So if we go to this route, what will happen? So we have to give here second parameter as the function which we want to call. So function we want to call is, uh, let's say simple, server you don't need to give parentheses here because we are not calling the function here we are just giving it the function name and it will automatically call that function when the handle function handle func is called okay let's go ahead and uh, create this function so we'll type func simple server and what this will do this will take two parameters so if you know the client server model in that we have one request and one response so whenever a client sends a request to the server the server will acknowledge it and it will send a response so here there are two parameters in the simple server or any method for your example so the first one is the response so we'll give a variable here called w then we have to get the response from the http package so http dot we have our response writer function writer you can, here you can see response writer interface so this is the interface which is provided by the http handler to construct an http response so this makes our work easy so then the next parameter is the request so we'll say r that's a variable we'll use for the request interface and its type of uh, pointer. So we'll give star here, then we'll give HTTP to call that package. From that, we'll call the request. Here you can see request represents an HTTP request received by a server or to be sent by a client. So it's a struct basically. The first parameter was uh, interface that is response writer and the second parameter was struct that is pointed by the pointer so we have to give something here so we'll just go ahead and print the route of this particular url so we'll use fmt here fmt dot suppose f printf we'll use and f in f printf we have to give first our response so our response variable is w comma we'll give any string here so we'll suppose say hello 
and uh, it will be percent s because we'll just print uh, whatever route we have then to get that particular route what we have to do is we have to take the r variable that is the request variable from that we'll remove the url for example if we have google.com slash docs so we want to remove docs so that's the substring of that particular url so we'll just get url then we'll get the path that's a string and it's it's a array actually so we'll get uh, the first one so if one call colon will give us will fa will fetch the route of that particular url and that's all and now when the handle func will be called it will call the simple server function and that will be pointing to the root directory the next thing we want to create it we have to create the server so we'll call the http package again then we'll call listen and serve so you can see that listen and serve listens on the tcp network address and it will call internally the serve which is a handler to request uh, to handle request on incoming connections so it does everything implicitly so if you listen and serve here so keep in mind that um, listen and serve will block the particular uh, tcp connection so as soon as you go uh, as soon as you run this program you will can go on the particular url and you will get that particular uh, response there so inside here we have to give first parameter as the port the port which we will be using so we'll use port 8080 because that's the default port by used by many systems and second parameter it uh, it takes into consideration an error so we are just giving nil here if you go ahead and uh, run this go run simple server dot go you not get any output here it will give us a dialog box here that do we want the application simple server to accept incoming network connections just click on allow now you have to go into the chrome browser window and in here we will go to localhost colon 8080 so if you go ahead here you can see that it is printing hello the one more trick here is it is not printing the the one thing you can notice here that it is not printing the r.url.path because we have not given any path here apart from the root directory that is the forward slash so let's go ahead and give a path so in here we have to give localhost colon 8080 then forward slash we can give anything for example i want to give my name as a route if you press enter you can see that it is printing it hello Ganesh here so same way you can just remove it and you can print programming knowledge and it will print hello programming knowledge so this is how it works it parses the the root url path and then whatever is there it will just print it out here in front of hello and if you want to stop this what you can do this you can see that this command is still running so hit ctrl c and it will the, the process will be interrupted and if you go ahead and uh, again run this or refresh the page you can see that that site can't be reached because the server is stopped now so this is how you create a simple http server in the future videos i will show you how to use uh, different handler etc and also how to work with the http get request post request so thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you in the next video